let's see how quickly we can generate Java POJOs based on a JSON example. So I have an example in JSON, and I'm going to take this example. I'm going to quickly generate the classes from this to represent this JSON in only a few steps. We'll generate the code using this website and it only takes a few moments. So we're going to go over really quick how to convert a JSON object into Java. We're not talking about marshalling and unmarshalling. We're actually talking about generating code. So I have a sample JSON document here where I have an ID, it's a string, a first name, last name, email, a fave color, and then I have an array of searches. The array of searches has an ID, a query, and search results. So search results are also an array. And it has ID, title, description, price, and whether it's available. Okay, so we're going to select this document here. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to a JSON formatter and validator. So this is jsonformatter.curiousconcepts.com. And I use this site a lot. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to click process to make sure this is a valid JSON document. It is. So we're, we can go to the next step here now that we have valid JSON document. I'm going to a site by from byingtondesign.com and it's JSON Gen. And I'm going to give it a class name and I'm going to paste the content in here that I just validated. And this information is about my search results. And I'm going to call this online buying. And that'll be a class name. I'm going to click generate. It will instantly generate the Java classes for us. So no more do I have to go through and do all the coding and such. Now, on the class that I'm going to generate, I'm going to use Lombok. So I do not want the getters and setters. So I'm actually going to delete the getters and setters that it has generated for me. It's nice, but again, I'll be using Lombok, so I don't need these in here. I can delete all of these for now. So it has generated three sets of classes, one for the online buying, which is our top level container, one for searches, which is the container in the top level, and then one for search result results, which is the array of elements in here. So I can go ahead and create my classes here in my model. So I have a model folder here. I will create a class. I'll give it the name. I will add at data to add in my Lombok. I'll then go grab that content, paste it in here. Same thing for searches. I'll add that to my model. Again, I'm going to use at data because it creates my getters and setters. I'll then grab that content in here. And now we need to get the final class, which is the search results. I'll add that into my model. Again, adding at data. And then adding the elements in here. Now one item I will see is a price is actually integer 
but we know it's not an integer. So I'll go ahead and adjust that to a double. Okay, so now we have the information here. We need to import a list. And we also need to import list. There we go. Within just a few minutes, we've actually generated our Java POJOs that represent that JSON. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Please check out my other content on YouTube, as well as my Udemy classes. Please like and follow me. Thank you.